Fog FPV. Two of my favorite frame manufacturers are Catalyst Machine Works and Armitan. Uh, so when Armitan announced a toothpick lightweight uh, frame called the Tadpole, I jumped right on it. So this is going to be another one of my abbreviated builds, the components I'm going to be using. Uh, this is a Runcam Nano. I have some Beta FPV 1204 5000 kV motors. I'm going to be running the iFlight Success X Micro F4 version 1.5. It's the 16 by 16 millimeter stack. Um, it's going to be pretty tight because you only have about 16 millimeters of clearance on the frame. So the stack height has to be less than uh, 16 millimeters. So that'll be interesting. And then I'm going to be using an FR Sky um, R XSR. And um, for the antenna, hopefully this AXE uh, stubby will work. It's a UFL connector on that. And then I will be putting a buzzer on it as well. So I'll link the components below. So here I have the frame braces installed. I'm going to have to lift the back here a little bit. Um, I need to add some washers for the top plate um, so I have enough clearance for my stack. But um, it's only about uh, two millimeters um, should work. So I just finished up uh, soldering in the pigtail to the um, ESC right here. I went ahead and used uh, a pigtail that I had that had a low ESR capacitor already soldered into the XT30 connector. Um, I'll link it below. Uh, the uh, It is 20 gauge, so it's a little lighter than what came with the flight controller, but this is overkill. Um, I don't really need that thick of wire. It's a little stiffer. And what's convenient about this, it already has the um, capacitor already soldered in. So uh, that's a little easier option for me. So I just finished soldering up the buzzer and the RXSR connector here. So it's fairly simple. Uh, the buzzer goes to the, um, the plus five, the red wire goes to the second uh, pad from the top here. And uh, so that's plus five volts. And then there's the minus B a buzzer pad right here. Then on the RXSR, um, the ground, signal ground is the first pad here next to the rubber grommet. And then um, five volts is right next to that. And then uh, lastly, um, this is my S bus right here tab. So it's uh, ground, five volts, S bus uh, in that order, uh, starting from the pad on the bottom here, working your way up. I just finished installing the motors and the camera. I did use a plastic washer here uh, to make it easier to adjust the camera angle. Instead of metal on metal, you know, there's a little plastic washer. Uh, this, I, I do like the uh, metal cage for the camera. There's really a good protection here. And I like, you know, it has a lot of camera angle adjustment on this. So just as a builder's tip, I like to usually test the flight controller stack before I finish my assembly on these tiny little quads. So um, I'm going to go ahead and plug the uh, battery in now and make sure everything is working fine. And you can see that I do have camera on screen display here. So I have all the components installed now. Here is where I place the RXSR sideways. I use some double-sided sticky tape to hold it in place. Um, my buzzer is sitting right here. Um, I went ahead and ran the antennas uh, with uh, tie wraps here and uh, heat shrink tubing. That's what I typically do, uh, even for micro quads position in that way. Uh, I'm pretty happy that the uh, stack height looks like it's going to be low enough that I'm not going to have to use washers. I'll see on the back here I was able to push the stubby down and hopefully I don't have too much tens tension on the UFL connector here but uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, an issue. So this is what the finished product looks like with the top plate on and the battery pad here. 
I think it uh, looks pretty, pretty slick. I'm pretty pleased with it. So let's quickly get a weight on this build. Uh, it's 70 grams without props. If I add these props up on here, um, it's at 75 grams. And I'm gonna be running these 350 mAh RDQ 3S batteries. So if I add that on there, we're coming in at 104 grams. So this thing is a very reasonable weight. So flying this with uh, props out and uh, we'll see how well it does. So going for my second flight, the first uh, flight, my maiden, um, had some problems with the camera cable. Um, the pins got pushed out and I was getting uh, video dropouts. But anyways, got that corrected and uh, gonna go uh, for my second flight.
So here are my closing thoughts on the Tadpole build. Overall, I'm very pleased with the build as the flight stack, camera and motors and the Tadpole frame itself worked very well together. Um, as far as the iFlight stack, I was very impressed with its quality and how light it is for being a separate controller and ESC stack. And then also I think the VTX was quite good. Um, I was only running at 100 milliwatts and had a very good range with it. Moving on to the motors, I really think the Beta FPV 1204 5000KV motors with the Avon props um, were a good combination. Uh, I did pick the Vaughn tri-blades over bi-blades because the motors I have on here are a little much for 65 millimeter bi-blades. Um, if you're wanting to run bi-blades, I would say a 3-inch build would be better. So as far as uh, being matched up with pry blades, I was getting a lot of punch to do freestyle. So um, with tri-blade blade, uh, two and a half inch props, I think the, the motors uh, and the, the props matched up quite well. And then also, you know, the, the props were very quiet. I had lots of speed with this uh, build. So on the tadpole frame, I really like it a lot. Um, the build is very easy and I like its simplicity. Um, also it took some pretty good abuse. Um, I did have, when I first did my Maiden, um, I had a connector issue and I had a bad video dropout. So you know, I crashed on to rock pavers and uh, no visible damage at all on this. So the pros of this build, it is lightweight considering the size of the motors, the full stack and the more traditional Armitan frame design. Um, if you want an ultralight freestyle frame with Armitan robustness, this is uh, what I think. The, I think this is a build for you. Um, it is uh, great at, at uh, flying freestyle, but you can also use it as just a little cruiser and uh, do some uh, proximity flying as well. Um, I do think it's a good build if you're wanting to do, um, you know, practicing freestyle without having to do it with a five inch. It's uh, obviously this is a light lot lighter weight um, freestyle build and so you know if you crash it, it's not going to hurt hurt the uh, property or you know I guess if you hit somebody going too fast you might might hurt them but in general you know you got you have a lot more confidence with these lighter little micro build uh, be, just because it, they're they are safer than a, a heavier five inch uh, build now of course you know a lot of people like to say oh it flies like a like a five inch well yeah the flying characteristics you know with the top mount battery and the weight being distributed from front to back here um yeah it does uh, have flying characteristics more like a five inch freestyle quad but of course you're not going to have the mass to throw this thing around i mean if you you know it's obvious when you're flying a heavier five inch it flies and feels a lot more like a brick this is obviously lighter weight so you're not going to be carrying the momentum as you're doing your freestyle um, tricks but uh, for practicing I think it's a great great alternative to a five inch and it's way quieter um, I again people are walking around when I was flying this thing and uh, they weren't noticing it at all so uh, the only con I would say with this build um, you know the flight time weren't uh, you know a lot of people in this toothpick class they like five minute plus times um, if you're looking for that, then I would recommend going with 1103 motors, you know, that are 8,000 kV with 65 millimeter by blades. Uh, but again, you wouldn't be able to carry the speed or be as, it wouldn't be as good a solution for doing a freestyle. Uh, as far as batteries, uh, with the 450 Ma 2S batteries, I was getting around three minutes, uh, 30 seconds. Uh, with the 350, Ma 3S batteries, I was getting a little more than three minutes, uh, but that is being kind to the batteries. That wasn't, um, you know, I didn't want to damage my batteries here. Um, and really, although heavier, for me, uh, kind of the sweet spot was this heavier battery, the 525 Ma uh, 3S batteries. And I was getting around four minutes of, of uh, flight time with a mix of hard throttle freestyle mixed in with uh, lighter cruising. Uh, so also keep in mind, I was running in colder temperatures around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So 
you know, you probably get a little more flight time if you're running at a little warmer ambient temperature. So uh, overall, yes, I give the Tadpole frame in this build thumbs up. And uh, as always, thanks for watching my channel.